I thought I was all prepared, but I forgot my good microphone. So this is coming straight out of the camera. I'm gonna spare you the talking points here because there's a lot of wind trying to block it. Um, I'll talk to you back in the office. Well, I know I said that I would be back right away and do a talking point here in the office, and that was my intent. What actually happened was I had a bunch of work to finish up, so I focused on that. And then we actually had the girls' dress rehearsal because they have a, a dance recital on Saturday coming up, and we had to go to that. That is definitely not the music they're dancing to. I had to do that for copyright reasons. While we were in their dress rehearsal, the tornado sirens ended up going off yet again. So remember when I was excited because it was nice out and I got to use the booster board today? Look at this, we came home from dance. Another tornado warning. This weather has been insane this year. Also, when I was going back through that footage and everything and on that ride I took on the booster board, did you see how close I came to hitting a goose? I thought I was going down for sure. I thought I was gonna have to bail, but then my head was like, okay, if I bail, it's gonna hurt because I'm going fairly fast. And then on top of it hurting and falling, I'm gonna be eaten by a goose. I do wanna put this disclaimer out there. No animals were harmed in the filming of this vlog. That brings me to what I actually wanted to talk about when I was down at the park. I was having a conversation with a friend and colleague and we were talking about different people and different mentalities because we work with a lot of different personalities. I like to break down, analyze things, look deeper into things, maybe get a little meta once in a while. But one thing we talked about was it seems that life comes down to two choices. You either do it or you don't do it. And what I mean by that is you either take risks you do things that scare you or you play it completely safe. Now this is different for everybody, depending on your situation, depending on where you are in life. Me personally, I have a family, so I can't take quite the risks that I probably used to, but I still take them. I've had a lot of people tell me, oh man, that looks awesome. I wish I could do that and I wish I could do this and I wish, I wish, I wish. And I was that way for a long time. When I was younger, my mindset was, oh man, I can't wait for this to happen. I can, this is how my life's gonna be. This is my dream, this is my goal. But I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't taking any steps forward to accomplish that goal. I was banking on being in the right place at the right time or having somebody see me or like whatever the, whatever the scenario was, I would come up with these scenarios in my head and think, oh, it'll just happen. In reality, you have to go out there and make it happen. I, I discovered that pretty fast. I mean, you, if you want something to happen, you just have to make it happen. The other side of that is when you make that choice, when you choose to go after it instead of just sitting on the sidelines, you have to realize don't just run out there and expect, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna sprint once, and it's gonna happen. It's a long game. So whatever your dream, whatever your goal is, break it down into small sections, make the choice to move towards those sections, but start moving towards those sections today. Like I was saying about creativity yesterday, things take time. You have to practice it to get good at it. Some people are just naturally good at something, and for some other people, you just have to work at it. That's not limited to creativity. That's anything, goals you have in general. If you want to accomplish them, you have to work at it every single day. This isn't really a big dream or anything, but I'm gonna use the boosted board for an example. I had never been on a skateboard in my entire life, and when I did receive the boosted board, I was terrified. I was actually looking at this thing. I heard that whine when I hit the button. I heard how fast it could go. It was scary, but I promised myself I was going to hop on it and learn how to do this. Every day I promised myself I was going to practice this thing and I did. I hopped on it and I just went in a circle very slowly, very slowly. It kind of felt like a loser and a newbie and all that stuff, but I kept going around and around and I slowly got the feel for it. Then by day three, I felt really good, went up to the next level on speed, got more comfortable with that. And now I'm confident taking that thing downtown and weaving in and out of people, dodging geese. And now besides the one fall I've had, I feel very confident on that thing. And 
it was a fear. It used to be a fear and now it's something that I conquered and it's just a goal I had that I accomplished. I feel good about it and now I can go on to the next goal. So ask yourself this, are you gonna go out there and do it or are you just gonna stay on the sidelines and play it safe? We only have one life, we only have one go around, and I challenge you to take a little risk. You know, don't go crazy, but think about something that you've always wanted to do. Maybe it's play a song on the piano. Go figure out a place, go figure out a, a way that you can take lessons and at least learn that one song. Just think about something, take one action, and move forward in that direction. Let me know in the comments if there's something you've always feared and you've always wanted to try but you don't have, maybe just don't feel like you can do it, or if there was something that you feared and you conquered it, I wanna hear both stories and how you did it. If you haven't done something yet, let's work together on a way that we can get you to accomplish that goal. That is it for the vlog today. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it very much. I will see you in the comments and I will see you tomorrow. I'm filming on the GoPro right now because I wanted to show you, this is my Sigma lens and it actually cracked right here. You can see where the plastic cracked. It still works, it still functions. I filmed most of this vlog on it, but the actual footage of the camera falling, I didn't have because I was trying out a dolly zoom on my boosted board when it fell and I didn't have record, I was just doing a test. It's, it seems to be working okay. Autofocus still works, manual focus still works, ND filter still turns properly. So all in all, I think we're okay. Yeah, everything seems to be working properly right now, but my heart did skip a beat when this thing, uh, when this thing took a tumble. So everything's working right now. I will keep you updated. Thanks again for watching everybody, and I will see you tomorrow.